I bow to all the seekers of truth. But today we are all seeking the truth, so many of us, but so far so many couldn't find and they are lost. So what is the truth? What is the truth about yourself? The truth is that you are not this body. They are not these emotions, but what are you? You are the Spirit. All the great saints and incarnations have said that you are the Spirit. And what we are trying to find out is our selfhood. We are, after that research, about ourselves. We've done lots of mistakes also by misguided people, but I must say that there is a built-in alignment within us, every one of you, which will take you to that selfhood which will give you a Self-realization. It's very surprising that they have not talked about Kundalini so far. There is a power within all of you which is the Kundalini, which is three and a half coiled energy in your, I should say, behind your triangular bowl, or it is inside it, and is waiting for that moment when it can be awakened and it can pass through the different centers, piercing through your fontanelle bone area. And that's how you get your Self-realization, that you feel cool breeze coming out of your fontanelle bone area. It's an actualization. It is not by lecture or reading or anything. It's actualization which has to take place. If you don't get it, doesn't matter. Next time you can get it. But most of them do get it in a collective way. It's very surprising that it took so much, so many years for people to come to this state where they are asking for the real thing. This is your own. This power is your own and it is just waiting there to be awakened. Any amount of lecturing, any amount of reading, nothing can help. What is needed is just a quiet mind and it works. It works under every circumstance. It's very surprising. This was the time perhaps was meant to be this way. I've been to this country many times before also. First time when I came, I was so surprised how people were running after falsehood. So I gave it up. After nine years I came thinking that What's the matter with these people? Why can't they understand what they have to achieve, what they have to get, 
whatever is written and said by all the saints, by all the incarnations, I couldn't understand why they were satisfied with all kinds of nonsense. And somehow they came to America and prospered here with all their untruth. It's very sad that we have lost so many beautiful seekers in that pursuit. Now I have to tell you one thing, simple thing, that you must know that you have every right to know yourself, to become self every one of them. Nobody can force it and nobody can deny it. It is your fundamental right by which you can get yourself salvation. If you are a human being, that's sufficient. Whether you belong to America or to India or to any other place, everyone has this right to get your Self-Realization. As a result of Self-Realization, what happens? That's the point. The first thing, you start feeling the Divine vibrations on your fingertips. Divine vibrations like wood breeze and it starts flowing through your hands. You'll be amazed when it first happens, you start doubting. I know people who went and closed their doors and windows. I wanted to test and find out if they had those wood breeze. You have it. It's a sign of yourself, everything, these pure vibrations. As a result of that, so many other things can happen. But the most important thing is that you become a very peaceful person. You become a very balanced person. And you become that witness about which all the religions are taught. You get to the state of that witness. And once you become the witness, you see the whole picture, the whole world in a very different manner. You become the witness. It's a state in which what is it? Do not react, but you watch. And your presence itself will help people. I know America nowadays is in a very difficult state and people are quite frightened by it. If they were realized souls, they would never have it. The power of realization is so great, not that it enlightens you, but it enlightens others, it enlightens the atmosphere. So it's very important that you get your last breath through of your evolution and get to that stage which we call as self -realization. It is a entry into the Divine powers and the spiritual realm of life, which is very, really, very really surprisingly, very, much surprisingly is very difficult to understand otherwise. But once you become a realized soul, automatically you know what it is. You become so sensitive at the same time you are so well protected. You can solve many problems, you can do so many things which you could never have been able to do. The reason is now you have become empowered by the Divine Force. 
This is what you all are seeking, <coughs> nothing else. This is what you want, nothing else, and this is what you should get. No use going into blind planes and trying to find out something which you do not know. With this, your health will improve, your wealth will improve, your temperament will improve, and you will become such a compassionate, such a beautiful person that people will be amazed how you have achieved this state. You become so collective. So very collective. I'm surprised how this collective temperament has come into all the search of peace, how they work it out. It's very beautiful. And surprisingly you may belong to any, any country, far away from each other, where the people don't know each other and such love and such understanding. It is beyond me sometimes to see how beautifully they blend together, mix together and learn from each other. Such love, such compassion and such power is there in your own, your own. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to do anything of the kind. Just you have to get your Kundalini awakened, which is very, very easy to do and it works. The time has come, I think, for Amas awakening. Time has come. And that's why, why we have to work it out. It's not something miraculous, I think, if you see our evolution from what stage to what stage to what stage, now at a human stage, what do we have to achieve? Why are we human beings? What is the part we have to play? Because you are a spiritual personality. You have to become that spiritual personality. It's not by reading books or doing all kinds of rituals that you will achieve it. It's just within yourself. Where the Kundalini rises, passes through these various centers and gets you connected to the divine power which is all pervading, which is everywhere. Then you can learn what is this, how it works, how it helps you, how it educates you, and how it gives you knowledge. It's really remarkable and it works in every country. It's very surprising that people told me that in America it will never work. I said, why? Because they are only after gurus I will take money and make big things. That's all right. After all, they are human beings. And as human beings, all their ideas will change and they will seek their peace and joy. Not say that today in America it has worked out wonders. In all the cities here we have people who are following such. Every one who has come to me is just the same as any other surgery who is from any other country. Can you believe it? There's no difference at all in their expression, in their love, in their compassion. All of them are so good 
and so beautiful. It is hard to believe that they have forgotten all the differences and how have they mixed up together and are in such a loving state and enjoyable state. It's a very different area into which you have to enter and you enter into it without doing anything whatsoever, only your Kundalini rises and gives yourself life. It is effortless. Don't have to make any efforts, not standing on your head or anything. Just wherever you are sitting, you get yourself life. And once you get it, you grow into it. You grow into it so well, you become so empowered. You are amazed sometimes. You see people who were never poets. They have suddenly become poets. There are people who never could do anything on the stage, were so frightened, have become great speakers. There are musicians who said, whether we didn't know how to sing. So all kinds of creativity comes into it. How it comes and how suddenly it has started, they don't know. You become extremely creative and you start appreciating in a very subtle way the creativity of others. Then this stupid thing called greed, which has captured your country now also, is like this, that when people get some money, the taste of that money makes them greedy. As simple as that. Now what happens with Sajoga? You don't have any greed. The greed finishes, you are a satisfied soul. Why will you ask for so many cars, so many aeroplanes? Not needed. Because you become a wise person. Become, becoming is the point. You become so wise that you don't hanker after things. You are extremely satisfied. But as a result of that, you are completely, fully blessed with a very beautiful life and everything that you want to be This is the blessings of the Divine. And so many miracles, so many miracles, that you are amazed. How are you blessed? What have you done to deserve this? You are now the Spirit. These are the blessings of the Spirit. People get completely cured, no doubt. But also they become very compassionate, extremely compassionate. And they don't understand from where did we get this compassion. Very compassionate people. Thirdly, they become thoughtlessly aware. That means complete silence with it. You see something and you become silent. You don't react, just you see. It's so enjoyable to see something clearly. But when you see something, your vibrations act. It's a very powerful personality. But when you see something, your vibrations act and they work it out. They can solve all kinds of problems. These vibrations can tell you what's wrong with the other person, what's wrong with certain countries. And also you should know how to correct it. If you can find out how 
you can correct this problem is solved. And it's so gentle and so sweet that you don't have to fight with it, just works. You are all capable of becoming that power person, of that compassion, of that love and understanding. And you just develop this thoughtless awareness, which is a very important state, which you don't feel bored, you don't get upset, you are absolutely silently watching everything. And you become such a congenial personality that those who come in contact with you also become very, very congenial. You can give realizations to us. You yourself can do it. It's not only that you get your realization, but you can give realizations. It's very surprising that you become so powerful. You can change the atmosphere. You can work out so many things just with turning of your mind. And all the bad things like, we should say all the things that are very destructive, you just don't like it. Just give up like that. And also you protect yourself you are completely protected from all the evil doers. So it's important that you become that powerful personality, which I call as the spiritual person. People have been talking about it, saying all kinds of things, telling all kinds of stories. Now the time has come for the actualization. And this is so important so very important for you that you get it. The time has come, it's your right, it's your fundamental right, I say, to get to that state where you become absolutely a personality which is spiritual, which is empowered, and which knows how to, how to use this power, how to work it out. It's very surprising how the more advanced we are, the less chances there are, because we are last lost in the forest of advancement. But despite all that, people find it so difficult to exist in such busy atmosphere. They come to search and they get completely peaceful. Whatever it is, whatever kind of life it is, they are absolutely peaceful and you give peace to others. I have spoken for thousands of times all over the world and I think it works. It does work. They wanted me to allow you to ask some questions. I don't mind you are asking me questions. But the problem is this question is also uh, can be quite stupid sometimes. <laughs> and if you want to waste some time on such amount of stupidity, you can ask. I don't know. <laughs> so if somebody wants to ask me questions, So have you got some people who want to ask questions? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So now we have the session for self-realization. It's very simple. What you have to do is to put both your hands like this doors.
the pigeon, but yeah, what the other people. Okay. Alright. Okay. <coughs> now, please close your eyes. Please, all of you, close your eyes. There's no mess, but it's so please close your eyes. First put your left hand towards me and right hand on top of your head on the fontanel only. Left hand towards me. Now, put the right hand towards me. And put the left hand on top of your head, not touching the head at all. Not both the hands, one hand on top of the head, only one. Keep your eyes shut. Full breeze in your hand. Try to see that it comes on top of your hair and not below. If it is coming below, just put it up. You can open your eyes and see. First, Put both your hands towards me again. See, if you are feeling a full breeze in your or you are feeling a cool breeze coming out of your head. Could be hot. Could be hot. If it is hot, try to forgive it. Could be hot, but then not. Most of you have felt the complete. 
may God bless you. Thank you very much.